everybody welcome to meddling world we're hanging out at disney springs tonight we're gonna go down find something to eat i think we're gonna check a couple stores uh because we do have an upcoming cruise right roberta and jake yeah. maybe see if we can maybe find a shirt or something yeah but we parked in a different location than we usually do roberta yes we'll tell you in a minute so come on in check it out So guys, this is actually the Grapefruit Garage. There's three garages. You have the Orange Garage, the Lime Garage, and the Grapefruit Garage. Just to kind of show you across, that's the Lime Garage right there. That's where we usually park. It takes you right down, you come to Polite Pig. But the cool thing is, this is actually, uh, Roberta, an employee garage during the day. Cast member. Yep. Cast member. Garage during the day. And then, in the late in the evening, yes, then they, they open to for guests. But if you come here like now, right yeah, now, yeah, it's, it's a Saturday, it's pat, it's busy. But this garage had plenty of parking, yeah. So you're gonna get in a lot quicker than dealing with trying to circle around. And you can see the people coming in. Parking on level three, that's the level. Access. Level three, and it's a little different when you go in, as you can see. Not a lot of the metal detectors or security here, so you can get the you can get in a little bit quicker and easier so and it's kind of cool because you get to really have a nice walk in actually that's casting over there guys that's where you go well when i was a cast member i had to go in there to do a lot of the paperwork. um and then we'll get to walk right over and head into disney springs that way so but i think roberta uh, i have to wait for roberta but i think one of the things she was telling me is when you park in the other garage obviously a lot longer of a line to get through security and things but i think this one's a little bit more expedited which we'll find out in a few minutes if that's true roberta actually just said oh anybody that's looking to be a cast member that's you can actually team. put her name down yeah. on a referral and not just that yeah exactly yeah but this is the you can come here i think every don't quote me on that but i think every wednesday you could they, they i know they were doing thing. it i'm not sure now you have to check but if you want to go to casting you're going to take this right here this first elevator or the stairs they'll bring it over to casting yeah that's where they do a lot of their interview uh, fingerprint yeah all of that thing and they have job fairs here sometimes there's other property areas they do it but roberta yeah get a referral from roberta meddling world um uh, but anyway, as you guys can see, as we walk here, it's kind of neat. You're really on the adventure with Meddling World as we get ready to head into Disney Springs. Want to remind everybody, please subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Oh, we're going to come right in by the World of Disney on this side. Very cool. And if you need elevators, it's right here. Oh, yeah. Left. Accessibility there. If you want your elevators, strollers, wheelchairs, whatever you need. I just like the views from up here. Look at a balloon with the sun. Oh, it's beautiful. So guys, yeah, this way you just walk in and uh, all the security here, a lot of them, you know, you have the scanners here. You just have the um, security with the dog. So you don't have to go through all of that uh, bag searching, any of those things if you park. And, they and what is have, it, grapefruit? Yeah, the grapefruit, but they have- Oh, the I love it now. They have the canine and- Oh, he's trained. Don't get me wrong, he is trained. I was going to say, the stories that we know about the canines. Yeah, no, that. Yeah. You don't got to worry. If you if you uh, are not doing the things you're supposed to do, oh, it, yeah. It, yeah, you don't want to do that at Disney. They take that <laughs> serious. But guys, look, it's going to be a busy night down here. Like I said, we're going to try to find something to eat. Probably go into a couple stores, guys, yeah? Yeah. See if we can find a few things for our cruise. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but we definitely... Gotta find food, cause I am starving. You like to vlog like that, because if you were on a vacation, yeah, and you said, let's go to Disney Springs, and you didn't really know a lot, yeah. you would just come in here like this and say, well, what, what can we eat? Yeah. And that's basically what we're doing. Although we know a lot of places we can go. Yeah. Which, One of them is right over here, Jake. I you, think we're gonna eat a point. Let's see how yes. long the line, yeah? Yeah. And then Roberta, uh, I wouldn't mind checking out that store right here. Yeah. What's the name of it? I think it's Unique Yellow. Yeah. Unique. They sometimes have really cool Disney T-shirts in there. Yeah. That are kind of exactly what Unique Glow or. So yeah. But first, let's see about the Polite Pig line. 
let's see. Kind of a long queue, you guys can see. Enter in there. <laughs> I asked the guy, it's like 20 minutes. We'll, we'll have a look at the menu as we move forward and let's see how quickly the line moves. I figured I'd show you guys the menu real quick while we're waiting. We've got some of the shareables there. I'm just going to uh, go down to save time. You guys can read it. You can see this is something that we kind of like is that butcher board. But we tried to switch it up tonight. So we'll show you what we get. They have a lot of really cool sides that you can get and what's kind of neat like if you get something from the smoker you can add a side to it um and then even the sandwiches that you get you can add a side for a little bit of a discount for five dollars rather than the six they have some different desserts they have a kids menu uh, and lots of different lots of different um cocktails and drinks also some desserts and then on the back too many to list, but they have a bourbon bar in here, guys, which is right there. Yes, sir. Thank you. And these are all the different bourbons. Wow. Zoom in if you'd like to take a look. Let's have some a barbecue sauce here. We have black pepper. These are all barbecue. Black pepper barbecue. We have a sweet sauce. We have southern gold. And then we have barbecue ranch. So, all different barbecue sauce right there. And then of course here you have your ketchup, your mayo, and then they have a hot barbecue sauce. And then that one is the same as the other one I showed you. So, you get these nice little cups. Or they actually bring them to you because it was very nice when we sat down. It's kind of like one of these hybrid quick service, but there's also wait staff going around. So, pretty cool. All right, we got our food, let's go eat. Just talked to one of the waiters, which is pretty cool. So the owner actually named his barbecue sauce after his family. So little John is the son and he's a black pepper. And Layla, his daughter was the sweet sauce, of course, because of the daughter. But the funny one is Mary's, Mary's hot barbecue. Mary was his wife. So of course she had to have the hot barbecue. I love it. Very cool. Uh, I'm glad we came to the Polite Pig. This is a Cobb salad, Roberta? Chipotle Cobb. Chipotle Cobb? It's like bacon, corn, eggs, tomato. Uh, oh, that looks chipotle. delicious. Oh, there's some beans there? No, um, no, that's not, that's bacon. Bacon? Yes. And corn. I got the uh, brisket sandwich. It's got some jalapenos on it. It's got a pickle. And I think we got a side here. This is the baked bean side, Roberta? Yes, baked bean side. And Jake got the brisket with waffle fly, uh, waffle fries, coleslaw, and some cornbread. I think we'll go ahead and dig into this. And we'll go ahead and give you a review. Uh, when I showed that, uh, the sauce bar, this one is a hot sauce, so she didn't bring these out. But this was the hot mama one, so we gotta try that. I kind of want to show you that brisket all kind of on the bottom there. These are like the little little crispy onions. Pretty good. By the way, that's hot. I, duck, I stuck my finger in it. Thing is, this is a difficult sandwich to eat. I may have to kind of cut it up and eat it. I'm not sure. So I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm going to go right in with the hot. Just a little bit on the end here. Oh, it's nice, man. Brisket's good. I like the like the, the fried onions on on top. It gives a little crunch, and some of that hot sauce absorbed into it. Got a bite of the jalapeno. Oh, I like the spice. Good sandwich, yeah, not bad. I'm definitely enjoying mine. I'm taking a lot of the different sauces here. I just tried the, the, the honey barbecue. Uh, it's good, I like my sandwich. Definitely good. Uh, Roberta, how about your salad there? What do you think? It's good, like the flavor of the dress itself. Sometimes I really taste it. Sometimes it's like, where is the where, where is the dressing? So, but in 
general, like, it's a good flavor salad. It's fresh. It's good. It tastes good. But the yeah, beans that, too. Oh, the beans are nice. They almost have a little bit of a. It, they sweet, right? They have a sweet, a nice sweet really taste. Sweet. No, it's really sweet. And they have like the crumbles on the top there. Um, and then Jake, he's just been so quiet. He's going to town on his brisket. We'll brisket. get back to him. We'll let him wrap up later because I want brisket him. Brisket is to... very good. What? Brisket is very good. It's nice and juicy and tender. All right. We'll wrap up with you. You go ahead and enjoy that. We, we can talk to you when you're all done. How's that, bud? Enjoy that. Oh, man, that was so good. It was good. It yeah. was good. Jake, what'd you think of yours? We, we were letting you go to town on yours, and you never really said. How was it? The brisket was good. Yeah? It was like, it was soft, easy to eat, nice flavor. The fries are also pretty good, but I kind of prefer the fries. You kind of what? Well, I'm sorry. I kind of preferred the fries. The fries almost were a little like salty sweet. Yeah. For me, I, I did have to help Jake with some. Uh, the brisket was great. I liked uh, the cornbread he had was great. Um, oh, his was just, it was all really good. Oh, and the coleslaw, good. I would have said out of all the three, Jake was the winner tonight on his meal, for sure. So, anyway, we're here in Unique Low. I think, I'm probably saying it wrong, but I think it's how you pronounce it, but they have kind of cooler looking Disney merch, shirts and apparel that you don't always get to see in other stores. So let's, let's have a look around. So guys, all these hanging up, these are $24.90. The store used to have a lot of good deals in it. I've noticed over the past several years, slowly kind of going up. But they do have kind of neat looking things there. That one's kind of unique. Let's go right down the line here for you. Wonder what happened if you scan that. And a couple more. None of that jumping out at me. I don't think anything there catches my interest. Show some of these. This one's kind of neat. Donald Duck, he's got uh, his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie with him. What's going on with Mickey here? Fantastic, always the best. So these are kind of different. By the way, the kid shirts were 15. Oh, here's some cooler ones. Now, th I think this is kind of more along the line I was looking for, like this one. Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> wow. Here's a nice adventure. Uh, Mickey and a Pluto out there with a bunch of um, hippos. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. Oh, these ones are only 1990s. I did find this Mickey shirt. I just think it's kind of neat. I haven't seen one like that before. And it's $14.90. I'd probably wear that to the park or the cruise. We'll see, maybe. This is some cool information, guys. So, it looks like each month you can scan that probably. And they highlight different things. So, here's for April. Here's a different... Notice Peanuts here, the Lego. Disney. There's always Disney, though. And then May. Some Star Wars. Some of the different things there that you can find. So, it looks like it rotates monthly. Different inventory. Pretty neat. I think I decided to head upstairs. Roberta and Jake went upstairs. I'm still still holding on to this one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this thing is kind of cool. It's kind of different. Let's see what we find up here. Oh, I see some more t-shirts over there. Looks like they got some youth sizes on that side. Let's see what we can find. Like they got that ticker board up there. Hello Kitty, 50th anniversary. Hey, peace for all, Peanuts Sports Club. Speaking of Peanuts, there's some of this Peanuts featured merch right there. There it is, and I did get it, so watch your cruise logs. Well, Roberta, not a lot of luck in here. No. What I noticed is you gotta go for the deals in here. This store used to be a lot- A lot cheaper. It used to be a lot cheaper. Yeah. Uh, a little bit dark, but it, Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the- Sorry, sir. We gotta go back to the grapefruit garage. Uh, 
But yeah, that store used to have a lot better deals than that. We did yeah. find some. 14 bucks for a t-shirt's not bad. No. And it's a good quality. I felt it. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World. Don't forget, big cruise on the Disney Wish coming up in less than two weeks. Can't wait to share our full immersive cruise adventure with you. And last but not least, see!